Welcome everyone to the wonderful episode here, Jaws Podiatry. If there's one clinical presentation that we continue to see consistently that will make a grown man or anyone for that matter cry is an interdigital intractable porokeratosis. I will explain. This is the fourth. This is the fifth. We're going to exaggerate a little bit here. And we'll go ahead and exaggerate here a little bit as well. We'll exaggerate here as well. We have one, two, and three bones in the toe. This particular case, the patient presents with an interdigital in between an intractable porokeratosis, aka seated corn. The problem is that her toe, her fifth toe, is underwriting, and this bone spur right here is kissing this one. That's why it's called a kissing lesion. Right? And as a result of this and this, we have the culprit. <laughs> I'm surprised that the patient is laughing <laughs> because she's really, not, she's, she's really honestly in a tremendous amount of pain. Let's take a look. So, from the, from the top, you see that the fifth toe is kind of underwriting the, the fourth, okay? And I will show you where, look at this. This, ladies and gentlemen, is an incredibly painful lesion. I want you guys to see what I mean by kissing. Look at, the, look at here, you see the indentation? Take a look at this. You see how it's there's an indentation, and what's happening is, are you ready? Look how when the patient walks, that's where it lands, right there. So the patient is walking, and this this toe is hitting the bone spur. Right, bone on bone equals callus. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is enucleate. Even the patient said it herself that. After a week or so, it's 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 back, right? Okay. So we want to be really, really careful because I'm sure what I'm doing can be a little bit uncomfortable, right? I've seen these lesions ulcerate break down to the point where there's blood but the nice thing is that you know it's it's unfortunate the nice part of all of this patient leaves here with a big old smile and then unfortunately the patient will return See? You okay, patient? You okay? Okay, good. Okay. 
and you could clearly you guys could clearly see the the core right right here you okay patient it's a little uncomfortable mm -hmm. right every time i every time i press down it hurts it reproduces the pain It's not so much here on the periphery, it's right here. But I've seen these, these lesions ulcerate. You know, in respect to prevention, that's the key. You know, this patient is otherwise healthy. This is only the Band-Aid, right? What I'm doing right now, this is the Band-Aid. This is not fixing the core. How does that feel? So, let's see. How much better? Menos. Sí, cuanto mejor. Uh, mm -hmm. Bastante. Bastante. Si ya cuando me lo rebaja, usted sabe, me, menos. Pero ya la semana está otra vez. Yeah, the next week, it's <laughs> back. So, so what I've proposed is a, a minimally invasive little procedure. Make a tiny little a, one stitch, little incision right here. We come in. Let's go back to our whitey board. Come in through right here, right? Come in and basically erase. Let me just make this like this again. So everyone can actually see something. All right, let's say this is the bone spur. Come in through right here and erase the bone spur. We remove all this. Once we remove this, this goes away and this becomes that that's what we're going to do intractable interdigital intractable porokeratosis aka also known as an interdigital seated corn as a result of a bone spur. Extremely common. There are solutions out there. We spoke about it in great length. We can fix this. As always, www.jellispanitri.com, Instagram, Dr. Tojab, Jellispanitri, Facebook, and last but not least, our YouTube channel, Jellis Healthcare. Ladies and gentlemen, stay safe. Use masks. Have a wonderful week, everyone.